The small town of Wailua has a secret. A place where residents and visitors alike can connect or reconnect with the ancient Hawaiian custom of taro farming. That place is Namea Kupono. Namia Kupono is a six acre wetland taro patch and our focus here is to uh, educate um, our youth of Hawaii as well as uh, you know people in general and organizations that come, visitors um, that visit Hawaii. Um, by coming here you'll actually be able to step back in time and experience a little bit of old Hawaii. For about seven years Ku Ipo and her family have been maintaining the taro patch, complete with aquifer providing fresh spring water and local wildlife. Since then, Ku Ipo has remained committed to teaching the public about the nature of Kalo. We came here with the intention of creating a place where people from of Hawaii and of the world can come and learn about Kalo because the the process of growing it, the spirituality of it, can really touch a person's life. And we call it taro pee. And so by coming into the patch and feeling uh, the water and the mud and just being around Mother Nature, you know, Mother Nature gets to embrace her children in this element, that it actually connects people back to the land. Despite being open to the public and with potential to make a profit, Ku Ipo insists that she and her family are not in it for the money. We are not commercial. We're not a commercial tourist site. You're literally just coming to my house. <laughs> and um, we're very uh, Ohana based, yeah. So we treat everybody like family. And it's just uh, myself and my kane that work the land. So it's very personal. And um, you get to experience um, I would say the mana of this land because the, the energy of this land itself is healing and just being here, people just feel it. Just, just a lot of work. It's just a lot of work. That's just all there is to it. But if you think about it, it's not complicating mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, it's just pretty much take care of the land, the land take care of you. <laughs> In the end, Ku Ipo says her greatest reward isn't how much money they make. It's how many people she's educated through an ancient Hawaiian custom. It's a passion, yeah, for us. So it's not, not, a, not about money at all. And really, it's about um, changing the world one person at a time by sharing uh, mana'o, you know, Hawaiian way of thinking, um, reconnecting people to, to the land, or even just connecting them to the land. Whenever we intake breath, that air that we in, that took, we took, just took in came from the trees that gave us oxygen. Mm -hmm. That we are one and what we breathe out, they breathe in. So we're one. And if people can really um, realize that, maybe perhaps they might walk on the planet more humbly mm -hmm. and maybe perhaps treat the planet better. Mm -hmm.